Um, section 5.3, examples 6 and 7. We'll solve a couple more triangles in that ambiguous case. So we're going to find the remaining parts of an triangle. We have angle beta, or B, is 30 degrees. We know C is 16, and then B is 7. So B has to be the opposite side. And then the question is, does that 7 make it to the bottom? Because we have that ambiguous case of angle, side, side, or SAA, right? Angle, side, side. I think if we remember it as angle, side, side, we might remember that this is the awful case. So we're not 100% sure if that 7 is going to make it all the way to the bottom. So we'll use the law of sines. So sine of 30 degrees over 7 equals, and then we have maybe have an angle down here. That'll be angle C, because that was little c. So sine of C over 16. So we'll go ahead and multiply by 16. 16 sine of 30 divided by 7. And this is no, actually not going to work. So sine of C equals 1.14. Sine is never greater than 1. So this has no solution. So I recommend remembering this rule. It saves you some time. But if you didn't, you would do sine inverse of 1.14, and it's going to yell at you because it's not possible. Right? So this is the case where it's giving us an error message because the side never reaches the bottom. So there is no triangle with these conditions. And we're done. So this was that first case where there's no solution. It's impossible to have 16 and 7 with this angle of 30. So even though the ambiguous case isn't that fun, it is nice when there's no solution because we solve it really fast. So we're done. There's no possible solution here. When we draw the 7, it just never makes it to the bottom. So example 7, we'll do one more of these. Uh, find the remaining parts. This time we have alpha, which is the same as A, capital A. So A is 30 degrees. B is 16, and then A is 20. So 20 is the opposite side. So B is 16, and then 20 is the opposite side. And then the question is, is does it make it down here and make an angle? Because we, again, have angle side side, or SSA. So let's set up the ratio for angle, this will be angle B, and see if we can get a solution or not. So we'll say sine of A, sine of 30 over 20. Remember it's always opposite angle, opposite side, equals sine of B over 16, and we multiply by 16. So 16 times sine of 30 all over 20, and we get 0.4. So that means sine of B equals 0.4, or B is sine inverse of 0.4. So B is 23.58 degrees. All right, so we found this angle. And now the question is, is there another angle that would also make this work? We only do this for the ambiguous case. So we're in the ambiguous case. Only when you have SSA. Do not do this for any other situation because it doesn't happen. Um, so we'll go ahead and find the supplement. So 180 minus the angle we just found, 23.58. I get 156.42. And then the question is, is that angle possible? So we have 30 degrees and 156.42. And then if those are more than 180, it's not possible because triangles only have 180 degrees. 
So we're going to add those together. Um, it looks like we're getting 186.42, so it's not a possible triangle. If it adds up to more than 180 degrees, it's not a triangle, right? Triangles add up to 180, so not possible. So there's only one triangle here, which is nice. The two triangle case is the not fun case. So we only have to solve one triangle. And again, that's because 156 and 30 degrees are not going to make a triangle. Because that angle would be negative. So we just have to solve one triangle. This one's not possible. And we've solved almost everything. We found A, B. Um, we found capital A, capital B. Um, we can find little c really fast, or big c really fast, because it's just 180 minus the other two angles. And then we can use law of sines to find that last side. So 180 minus 30 minus 23.58, 126.42 degrees. And we'll just set up one final ratio for Side C. So we will go ahead and say sine of, um, we'll say A over sine of A, 20 over sine of 30. Again, it doesn't matter which is on top. I decided to put the letter, the sides on top because we're solving for C. So C over sine of 126.42. You can always flip it if you feel like you set it up wrong. But I put the sides on top because I'm solving for a side. So 20 and sine of 30, C and sine of 126.42. So we'll go ahead and multiply by sine of 126.42. And just multiply on the calculator. Sine of 126.42 times 20 all over sine of 30. And I get C is equal to 32.19. And I think now we have solved all three sides. Um, so just be extra cautious with the ambiguous case when you have an angle and two sides.